Hi Stampers, this is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wisconsin, USA. In this video, I will show you how to create this hand stamp greeting card using the Turtle Punch and the Turtle and Friends stamp set from Stampin' Up! So let's get started. So the stamp set is a photopolymer stamp set. That means those stamps are clear. And therefore, I'll be stamping using our paper piercing mat so there's a little extra cushion on um, between the ink and the paper so that the ink will transfer a little more evenly onto the paper. So I'm using my Native Navy ink pad. Looks like I don't have quite as much ink up there. Let's see if I can... There we go. It's hard to tell with all the glare of the lights if I got ink up there. And you'll notice that even though I've got ink on the negative space of the stamp, it didn't transfer to the paper. And that's one bonus with the photopolymer stamps. All right, now perfectly stamp that out. Now I can perfectly punch it out. So I'm just lining up that my turtle image with my punch and pressing out down just like that. Okay, so before I set aside my turtle, I'm going to stamp his shell in the pool party ink. And one of the things, good things about photopolymer is that when you press down, you can see the ink transfer to the stamp. That way you know you've got good ink coverage. And hopefully I've got that centered in the, yep, turtle back, just like that. All right, so that turtle's set aside. Now, before I set aside my Native Maybe ink pad, we'll pull in my square. This is a three by three inch square of basic white. And I wanted to do a little different orientation on my card today, so I decided to do that at an angle. So I'm just gonna place my stamp turtle there. And that's so that I can kind of uh, know where to stamp my little smaller turtle. Again, Knight of Navy ink. And it's about in the center. I want the line of stamping to be from corner to corner. And I need to add, leave enough space so I can get the bird stamped on top of the mini turtle and then the party hat. Okay, so next is the bird. The bird is stamped in Flirty Flamingo. Pull this a little closer to me. Hopefully I'll get this straight on. Again, eyeballing that point with the point of the bird, trying to keep it kind of centered, getting the legs on the back of that mini turtle back. Perfect, just like that. And then little party hat. I'm gonna ink that one up using the pool party ink. Move those aside. And then you line up the edge of the actual stamp over the flirty flamingo head. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Looks pretty good. Just like that. All right, the last stamp would be the Daffodil Delight on the mini shell. So I'm picking up a lot of the colors in the hand pen designer series paper in my stack of animals right there all right now the inside of the card we've got some stuff going on, on the inside so before i get rid of the paper piercing mat let's stamp the inside of the card now my card inside is just one sixth of an eight and a half by eleven piece of basic white right there so i've got it's time to shuttle bait stamped in the pool party I'm done with that ink pad. And then I wanted a lot of color. So I've got the happy birthday on a second block. I'm going to stamp that with the Flirty Flamingo ink. And it is a straight stamp, but since it's photopolymer, you can kind of pick it up and bend it wherever you want to place it. It's kind of a fun bonus of the photopolymer. Now I've got all the streamers hanging down there. So what I'm going to do is move a few things out of the way 
and then get a piece of scratch paper underneath my, what I'm going to do actually is move my paper piercing mat underneath my scratch mat. There we go. Bring in my Daffodil Delight. And then I know I've got the Daffodil Delight ink on there. I didn't, I didn't re-clean this. And I want the curly part down, the curly part in the center. You see the curls right there? And all I did was go across a couple of times. Okay. And then I'm gonna clean my stamp off. So I bring in my stamp and scrub, give it a mist on my wet side, rub it on the wet side, rub it on the dry side, and I'm ready to ink up into the flirty flamingo. I'm gonna flip my stamp around so that the curly edge is straight up, and I'm gonna offset my streamers. One on the end. There we go. All right, I think that's all the stamping done. Yep, okay, so we can just leave that paper piercing mat underneath my mat there. All right, so let's start to assemble all of our pieces. I've already processed a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock through my embossing machine using the hammered embossing folder. So you can see on the left the unembossed side and the embossed side on the right. And I think all the little hammerings look like a turtle back, so that's why I chose that one. I'm gonna use my bone folder and press that down so it's a little easier to layer up all my layers. And inside layer is gonna be applied with my Stampin' Seal. Now you notice when I release my Stampin' Seal, I'm gonna go straight up at a 90 degree angle from my paper and release. And that seems to be the trick to using the, the new Stampin' Seal. So you just release at a 90 degree angle. It used to be like at a, th a 30 degree angle in the previous fast fuse. There we go. All right, next up, I had some strips of flirty flamingo. So you notice that we've got, it looks like a full mat, but if you just have strips in your sniblet bin, then go ahead and just use your strips. I'm gonna grab my Tombow liquid glue because the front is embossed. And place that right there. And all I'm doing is eyeballing a little bit on each edge, Ooh, maybe less than a half of an inch. That's good. And then the pattern paper will just be eyeballed over that. So again, some glue, I'm not gonna put glue at the top because you notice it hangs off. And I will custom cut that off. So liquid glue is great. You can judge it for a few seconds and move it where you want. Just eyeballing left to right, making sure the margin is about the same on either side. Showing a little bit of that flirty flamingo. So I'm picking up the hues in the hand penned paper. All right, so I'm gonna flip that over. And all I'm gonna do is custom cut that off. Now this piece is gonna go in my snivelet bin. I couldn't find a good place to place this. I didn't really like that up there. And it's kind of going the wrong way. The scallops are going vertical instead of horizontal. It just don't coordinate with all my fun party streamers. All right, so now when I was designing this card, I knew I wanted to use this um, three by three inch square basic white and I wanted to mat it, but when I did a three and a quarter inch square, you notice the tips hang off. Never fear, we're gonna try something new. I just cut the tips off. So I wanted to show that. You can try different things. If you don't like it, it's just a card. Mail it away, give it away, put it in your idea file so maybe if you don't like that look, you won't do it again. All right. So I just did not want to redesign. For some reason, I just wanted to use a the square at an angle on this card. I wanted to do something a little different. Okay, and that's gonna go on there. Again, break your stamp and seal at a 90 degree angle to your paper. 
and you'll have it'll work a lot better for you all right now i'm just eyeballing the top point to the bottom point and then side to side and then again doing a flip over custom cutting that out with off with my paper snips okay and then last is adding my little turtle and i popped that turtle up on some dimensionals gonna use our regular dimensionals one fits on the turtle head and then one on the back is good so we got a quick card just a fun little birthday card for somebody who would enjoy getting some turtles and some birds with the party hat on it in their snail box a kid of all ages would enjoy this card all right, so I'm going to go do a little catalog tour and show you where I got all these products from. So from the annual catalog, the stamp set is on page 56. So Turtle and Friends, you can buy it as a bundle to save 10% off the stamp set and the punch. And that's what I recommend that you do. That's what I did. I take advantage of those savings as well. And then I use a lot of ink pads So uh, in my card because I wanted a lot of color. I use the Flirty Flamingo ink pad and the Daffodil Delight ink pad, the Pool Party ink pad, and also the Knight of Navy ink pad, which is in the neutrals. So four ink pads. Plus the Daffodil Delight paper and the basic white paper and Flirty Flamingo scraps. The pattern paper that I use is the hand penned on page 131. Here's the punch, shown in the punch section. Another little sample there, cute little sample with the turtle. And then the hammered 3D and embossing folder is right there on page 155. And then last, a couple of adhesives. So number five is the stamp and seal that I used. Uh, you can buy a case and then you just buy the refills to, and you separate the case out and pop a refill in once the cartridge is done. And then I also use number 14, the multi-purpose liquid glue and the regular Stampin' Dimensionals number one. All right, thanks for watching. This is super awesome stamper Shirley Merker. Make sure you click subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of new content loads. And also go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com for more inspiration and product ordering. Have a great day. Bye.